Argonaut. We were in Esquimalt, which is on Vancouver Island, Canada. While we were there, our chief engine mortificer had an old ordnance friend from the Royal Navy living in Esquimalt. And he invited Mac up for a weekend. While Mac was there, in fact, they had a small holding and he saw all these little redwood trees growing in pots. And he said to his chum, well, what do you do with these? He said, well, when we came to live here, they were growing all over the place. So we dug some up and put them in pots and we sell them. If you want some, you can take them with you because we got hundreds. So Max said, well, that's very nice. Yeah, I'll do that. And they said, if anyone on board wants some, they can have some too. So Matt came on board and told us a story and we then put our bids in for these trees. And in due course they, they came on board and we sailed from Esquimalt. The trees needed a lot of attention, they needed to be taken out and aired, mm -hmm. they needed to get some sunlight and they needed to be watered regularly. They were kept all over the ship, in the air, uh, helicopter hangar, in the workshops, at the back of the lathes and milling machines. Anywhere you went, you'd find cedarwood trees. And this was great. They all survived very well indeed. And eventually, having gone uh, down the west coast of the state, through the Panama Canal, up through to Bermuda and home, which took months, we arrived back with all these lovely redwood trees, which were still flourishing. And they must have grown quite a bit by then. Yeah, they had grown. Uh, we went into Falmouth, which is normal for a ship returning from a long trip, customs come aboard and they do a lot of the work in Falmouth before we arrive back in Devonport where they come aboard again and finish off. When the customs interviewed Mac about trees on his list they said what are these and he told them they were cedar, red cedars from Canada. To which they said you can't import these, they could carry diseases Max said this was ridiculous. They were perfectly healthy trees and we should be able to bring them in. Anyway, after an argument with the um, man, he said, well, it doesn't matter anyway. When you get to Devonport, they'll come aboard, take them away from you and burn them. Unbeknown to us, this had happened, but when they started checking our list for the odd one or two trees, they suddenly found out these were all over the ship. <laughs> So we sailed from Falmouth, knowing full well that when we got oh. back to Devonport, they would be waiting. And sure enough, when we got back, there they were, waiting. They came on board and they took all our trees and incinerated them. That's a really oh. sad story, actually.